As the year comes to an end, I thought I would take this opportunity to reflect on the 3D printed construction projects of 2021 and make a compilation of my favorite projects of the year. If you're a current subscriber, then you know I've been traveling the world to every 3D printed construction project I can find. If you're new to the channel, then like, subscribe, and make sure to stick around if you're interested in 3D printed construction and construction automation technology. This first project is the Meat Villa in Dubai, printed on a Seabay printer by Middle East Engineering Technologies. You can see this is one of the few actually furnished 3D printed houses, so this one's totally complete. Now we move on to the Habitat for Humanity project in Tempe, Arizona. This one is great because it's built right next to three stick-built homes. We'll be able to get a great cost comparison from Habitat for Humanity when this project is done. I'm going to link to all the companies that printed these homes in the description below. Because there are so many companies involved in these projects, I'm only going to link the company that operated the printer because I figure that's the primary interest of this channel. But don't forget there were many other great construction companies and organizations that participated in order to make this possible. When it comes to construction, partnerships are critical to make any project happen, and so it's never just one group responsible. This next project is extremely special, not because of the building design, but because of the material. Cobot and CMEX have partnered to develop a 3D printed concrete with full aggregate size, rather than the mortars under 2mm aggregate that many other companies use. This drives down cost immensely and allows companies to use primarily locally sourced materials for their concrete solutions, only adding a 1% mixture that makes it printable. As we've talked about so much on this channel, affordable material is the holy grail. And so in this CMEC Copod partnership to drive the material cost down, they're realizing new efficiencies that will take the industry to places it has never been before. Pretty soon I'll do an interview with the Cobod team to learn some more details about implementing their new materials and how the companies will benefit from using this technology in the future. As my subscribers know, there are many Cobod printers all over the world, and so being able to access this new material will overnight make them more viable. I'm here in Riverhead, New York, and behind me is the first 3D printed house to be sold on the open market, the New York MLS system to be specific. This project made national headlines when SQ4D sold the lot with permitted building plans. It wasn't built at that time, but they were using pictures from a demo building they built in Calverton. Now that they've completed the walls on this Riverhead property, the 3D printed building they sold is starting to take shape. I was able to stop by recently and get this footage, but it was an active construction site and so I didn't want to trespass beyond the area where I was publicly permitted to be. I really hope I can get permission to tour and film this project again, hopefully with a team member that can educate us a little more about the excellent details that went into this project. Here's a really fun one from a company called AMT, which stands for Additive Manufacturing Technologies. This Russian company is focused on 3D concrete printers in gantry systems. They do most of their marketing in Russian, and so many Americans haven't heard of them, but they're an excellent company with some great technology and affordable prices. This is a pretty unique project. Lots of the 3D printed concrete projects we see are just simple boxes that don't really show off the capabilities of this technology. 3D printing allows for freeform design through parametric design softwares, which are very difficult to build by hand. Square homes with corners simply don't capture the full realm of possibilities this technology has to offer. I'm here in Tallahassee, back at the site of the first permitted 3D printed building in Florida. Here's an awesome project done by general contractor Precision Builders and printed by Printed Farms on their Cobod printer. Precision Builders is an awesome company and I did an interview with their founders. In addition to the interview I've done with the Printed Farms founders, sadly I lost all the drone footage from this project when my hard drive got corrupted. So I'm just dubbing over this footage, but this home is really unique because it's the first fully permitted building in Florida. Kendra and James Light aim to print the same building on a new printer soon. I'm in Eindhoven in the Netherlands at the Milestone House, which was printed and rented out. This home is done in a massive collaboration between Eindhoven, TU, Van Wijnen, Vestetta, Weber B-Mix, and Wittevenen Boss. 
These organizations are demonstrating their commitment to forward-thinking technologies like 3D printed construction by creating this home. This extremely solid structure is one of five homes to be built, some of which will have two stories. This building was printed off-site in elements that were later joined together. If you look closely, you can see where the elements were joined. Tonight, for the first time ever, I'm going to be staying in a 3D printed house. Now we move on to the four 3D printed homes in Austin, Texas by Icon. For this project, Icon served as the 3D printing subcontractor for General Contractor 3 Strands. These units have all been sold and are actually available on Airbnb. 3 Strands was kind enough to let myself and fellow YouTuber Belinda Carr stay in this 3D printed home so that we could do a video review of our stay and it was a fantastic experience. I had never stayed in a 3D printed home overnight before even though I've been following this technology for over two years so it was a milestone achievement and a really fun video to do. Today I have a really heartwarming video for you. I'm here in Williamsburg, Virginia and tomorrow they're going to be handing over the keys to the brand new owner of this home and it will become the first owner occupied 3D printed home in the world. This house was 3D printed by Alquist 3D on their Cobod Bode 2 printer. The recent video I did on this project blew up faster than any of my videos ever have before. It was a really awesome time visiting the ribbon cutting event that they held. Having started making YouTube videos full time after COVID, I haven't gotten to do many events with people involved. Most of my projects are filmed solo, so it was a nice treat. The Alquist team members, Habitat team members, and neighbors gave fantastic interviews. And I also got the chance to take a digital 360 tour, which you can check out for yourself on the virtual village of 3D printed construction below. Use the code EARLYBIRD for 15% off for a limited time. Next up, we have Natura EcoCorp. They printed this demo house that has a great demonstration of how different materials can be combined to improve the aesthetics of the printed layer lines of concrete. In this image you can see their printer isn't as large as some of the others we've seen, but by printing in elements they're able to combine these parts and create full size structures significantly larger than the printing bed dimensions of their printer. Finally the most famous video from my YouTube channel, the most innovative 3D printed house in the world. I got the opportunity to visit and tour this building with the head architect Vladimir Korte himself. It was a phenomenal experience to see this construction in Germany, but while I was there it was still under construction. In these pictures you can see they did an absolutely terrific job finishing this off with very much attention to detail and considerate furnishing. Not to mention, it's also a smart home with radiant heat floors. The builders of this project agreed to leave it vacant for a period of time so that people can appreciate this innovative construction technology without disturbing the future tenants. Had it not been for this gap period, this could have been the first owner-occupied 3D printed home in the world. If you want to go back and watch my video on it, you can really see why it earned the title in my eyes of the most innovative printed house in the world because of how much foresight they put into all of the details like electrical, plumbing, and the smart home system. This video is sponsored by Ventures Equipment, silo mixer pump solutions provider for 3D printed concrete. On the many 3D printed construction sites I've visited from around the world, the mixer pump system can be the source of all kinds of issues. This mixer pump system by Ventures Equipment is specifically built for your 3D printed concrete needs. 